This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're looking at the white Christmas cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Eric when I asked for cocktails that had Christmas themes to them or holiday themes, really. And there's a couple others, like one had gingerbread liqueur, which we don't have. I don't even know where you get gingerbread liqueur or what I could substitute for it. Cinnamon and bread. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any bread liqueur. Bread in there. <laughs> um, so this recipe is going to have four ounces of eggnog. I'm using my pre-made eggnog. Um... Use whatever eggnog you find to be the best. I've done recipes with both eggnog that's been with eggs and without, and this I just find far easier, so that's what I'm using for this. Uh, You do whatever you have to do to impress people. Don't like it? That one? The peppermint mocha, ginger thingy, whatever I made yesterday. You put too much chocolate in it. I ruined it. I did the recipe. (laughs) Anyway. You changed the recipe. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Too much chocolate. Uh, This recipe is going to have a half ounce of white chocolate liqueur right here. And now you're eating garnishes and going, what the heck? That's so sour. Frozen raspberries. Uh, So we're using Godiva white chocolate liqueur. So we'll have a half ounce of white chocolate liqueur, an ounce of Southern Comfort, and four ounces of eggnog. Now, four, five, and a half. Will it fit in here? You better hope so. I don't know. So what I'm going to do... Just to be sure, I'm going to put these in you here first. You have to first. shake it anyway. Oh, I don't. Yes, it's I eggnog. Don't. I don't have to shake eggnog. You don't shake it, you just throw it in there, you're done. You can stir it if you want to. Oh, but I do have to measure. So, I am not going to shake it. That should hold five ounces. Five and a half. It should. So I shouldn't have a problem. But we will find out momentarily ounce. This is a hundred proof Southern Comfort, so it's going to be a little stronger. How much? We shall find out. Uh, I'll just screw that on. All right, now the other thing I'm going to do is typically, as the recipe states, you're supposed to use some shaved chocolate. I had plans on using shaved chocolate when I had somebody go out and get the shaved chocolate or just chocolate and I'd shave it myself. That didn't happen. I I tried. You didn't make me a list. It's all your fault. I didn't make you a list. I asked for shave for chocolate. You write it down on a list and then I won't forget it. A list and the whole list would just say chocolate bar? Uh, No, champagne, raspberries. You didn't mention that I did get those. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what I'm going to do just to garnish it anyway is use some chocolate powder. Let's go in the other room and grab one of the kids' chocolates. (laughs) Take take a Christmas chocolate and shave it? Yeah, they'll never know. Wrap it back up. (laughs) Wrap it up. Why is this got scratches on it? Oh, Oh, mice. (laughs) So... So there you go. You can't really see the garnish. It's floating on top, almost coating the entire top. It's pretty cool looking, regardless of the fact that it's not shaved authentic chocolate from Germany or something. Or the store. Telling you. Just use it. White Christmas. (laughs) Chocolate. Powder. In my nose. Go figure. It's hard to tell exactly what's in there. You do get a little of the chocolate. Hmm. There is a little bit of heat. 100 proof Southern Comfort. But it does have that eggnog appeal, the eggnog flavor, the holiday essence to it. But unlike brandy and eggnog or bourbon brandy and eggnog, which is pretty good, this has a different twist to it. A little numbness on the tongue, 
but I, I find it to be more difficult to figure out exactly what's in here. The flavors are complementary to the eggnog, but I can't really pick out that's a white chocolate or a Southern Comfort. They just they just blend in there in, in some crazy way. So give it a try and see if you can if you can pull those two ingredients out, or maybe they together are making some other ingredient that I'm just not getting a little bit of chocolate. A little bit, but not too much. So there you go. That's the white Christmas. Well, it's now kind of muddy. So it's like what happens when, when they plow the roads and all that dirt goes on top of Lovely. the snow banks and instead of nice white, it's got the dirt. Thanks for that picture. Makes me want to drink it now. You're just drinking roadway sludge. I don't see the problem. Anyway, everydaydrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>